Hey everybody, my name is Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve. For more of that, make sure to subscribe. Today we are talking about basic motion graphics for somebody who maybe isn't that into motion graphics. Maybe you're a video editor. Maybe you just don't have a whole lot of uh, experience with that kind of thing. We're gonna take a nice, easy approach to kind of get your feet wet when it comes to making some fancy, uh, fancy titles. This'll be fun, I promise. Let's go. Here in Resolve, I have a timeline that's definitely a movie that makes sense and not just a bunch of clips I threw in for this tutorial. And let's say I want to have a nice fancy graphic here that says San Francisco. How the heck do we do that? Well, if you want to keep it really basic, the easiest thing to do is just add a text title. So, and go up to the effects library, click that, go down to titles, and I'm just going to grab text, drag it here on top of my shot, and just trim it to the shot. Okay, there I have text over my screen. I'm going to close my effects library, give us some room. And if I want to adjust how this looks, all I have to do is select it in the timeline and then go over here to the inspector. The inspector is where we adjust anything that we have selected, basically. So let's type in San Francisco. And this is what we're looking at here. This is where I can change my font, color, size, everything like that. Let's use Babis. Let's use Babis New because I just think that's a really clean font. It looks nice. If you don't have this font, you can download it for free. Just Google it. And what I like to do sometimes is mess with the tracking. I find it looks nice to just kind of move that tracking out a little bit. And there is not a bad looking title. Now let's say we want this to move in some way. We want it to look a little fancier than just text appearing. Well, we could do something basic like fade it in, which we can do in the timeline. Just drag that little handle over. That makes a nice little crossfade. And that's classy, it still looks nice. You could do that, nothing wrong with it. I'll just take that off. We could also do a basic animation. We could also just kind of have this zoom out which we can do really easily to any clip in the timeline by using dynamic zoom. For a title, for a title, we'll have to select it, go over here to the inspector at the top where it says video, click on video, and I'll scroll down to dynamic zoom and just click that on. And now it'll zoom out and that works. And honestly, that's a pretty legit motion graphic. I mean, nobody's gonna be upset about that, but let's say we wanna get maybe a little bit fancier this is when we're gonna have to get out of the basic text title and use something else. So I'll grab this and hit delete, and I'm gonna go back to our effects library, and let's grab text plus. Text plus is like text, but plus stuff. Grab it, drag it down to the timeline, and again, we'll trim it just like before. And this is gonna seem very similar. One thing that is different besides the default font is you'll notice that things kind of play back a little slower. When you drag this down to the timeline, it's gonna take a second to kind of think about things. The reason for that is because this titler is super powerful. It uses the power of the fusion page to do all kinds of fancy things. So let's say we want to recreate our title. Let's do it. San Fran, we'll grab this size slider, slide it down. Again, font we'll use Babis and adjust our tracking a little bit, moving our, move our sizing down. Now we have pretty much what we had before, but one major thing you'll notice is that there's a little diamond next to just about everything here in the inspector. That means that you can animate it. So let's say we want to not just zoom this out, but actually adjust this tracking over time. We can animate this slider to start really wide and end up not so wide. So let's go to the very first frame of our title. I'm gonna make sure I have our text plus selected and let's make this tracking a little bit bigger than we normally would something like that and right next to tracking I'm gonna click on this diamond when it's orange that means it's on a keyframe that means a specific setting at a specific time at frame zero we want this to be 1.291 now let's move towards the end of the shot I'll actually just snap to the next shot and then hit left on the keyboard that'll bring us to the last frame of our title and now I'm just gonna grab this tracking grab the number and just roll it to the left a little bit and just squeeze it in a little down in our timeline we have this kind of orange bar and it's turning blue. That means that Resolve is thinking about this because it's doing a lot of powerful stuff under the hood. And once it's all blue, then we can play this back and we got our fancy animation. So all I really did was just set the way I want this to look, click on this orange diamond and set that tracking to how I want it at the beginning. And then I just went to a different frame and told it how I want at that frame. You don't have to hit this again, it'll automatically add a keyframe and then it just animates in between them. It's super easy. And the cool thing is you can animate just about anything here the exact same way. There are also some fancier things in the text plus effect. We have our normal text stuff. 
But we also have these other little icons we can click on, and we have just a ton of options about how the text is laid out, the color and style. You can even add multiple different layers of text right here in the edit page. So if I wanna make my letters a little bit fancier, I can go over to shading elements here. I'll click on select element, select element two. And these are kind of set to different presets. Number two is called red outline. Number three is black shadow. Number four is blue border. And so it's nice to kind of pick one that sounds like what you're going for. So if I'm looking for like a shadow, I'll just pick black shadow and click enabled. What that's gonna do is turn on another layer. What that's gonna do is turn on another layer of graphics behind my text. And you can see all the properties and everything of that. And just about everything is editable. It's really cool. So you can change the color, change the softness, do all kinds of cool stuff. And this third icon, you can even do things like some unique kind of transformations for different letters or words. Like if I click on shear, mess with the Y shear, can do some really interesting effects all without really knowing much about graphics. It's all kind of set up for you. So definitely open this up and play around with it. By the way, if you are an editor and you like this kind of style of creating graphics, we do have some graphics available at Ground Control. This is called Fusion Titles for Editors Volume 1. And really it's just a collection of different titles that you can put over things and they animate and they do all kinds of fancy stuff. And you never have to open the Fusion page. They live in your titles here. You just drag them into your timeline, change your text, and they'll animate in just like that. So yeah, that's called Fusion Titles for Editors. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want to learn a little bit more about just editing workflow and how Resolve works in between the pages and things, you can check out this video right here. It explains it all. It, it's like Clarissa explains it all, except for it's not Clarissa, it's me. But do you remember that show? That was cool.